Thai people who originally lived in southwestern China migrated into mainland Southeast Asia over a period of many centuries. The oldest known mention of their existence in the region by the Exonim Siamese is in a 12th century AD inscription at the Khmer Temple complex of Angkot in Cambodia, which refers to Siam, or dark brown, people. It was believed that Siam derived from the Sanskrit word Siam, or brown race, with a contemptuous signification. Sin in Chinese writings is the name for the northern kingdom that centered around Sakhoth Hay and Siwinkalok. But to the Siamese themselves, the name of the country has always been Muang Thai. The country's designation as Siam by Westerners likely came from the Portuguese, the first Europeans to give a coherent account of the country. Portuguese chronicles noted that the king of Sukhoth Hay had sent an expedition to Malacca at the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula in 1455. Following their conquest of Malacca in 1511, the Portuguese sent a diplomatic mission to Ayach Tyre. A century later, on August 15, 1612, the Globe, an East India Company merchantman bearing a letter from King James I, arrived in the road of Siam. By the end of the 19th century, Siam had become so enshrined in geographical nomenclature that it was believed that by this name and no other would it continue to be known and styled. Indianized kingdoms such as the Mon, Khmer and Malay kingdoms had ruled the region. Thai people established their own states starting with Sukhoth He, Chiang Sen and Chiang Mai and Lana Kingdom and then Ayach Thai Kingdom. These states fought each other and were under constant threat from the Khmers, Burma and Vietnam. Much later, the European colonial powers threatened in the 19th and early 20th centuries, but Thailand survived as the only Southeast Asian state to avoid European colonial rule because the French and the English decided it would be a neutral territory to avoid conflicts between their colonies. After the end of the absolute monarchy in 1932, Thailand endured 60 years of almost permanent military rule before the establishment of a democratically elected government system. Prehistoric Thailand Initial states of Thailand Prior to the southwards migration of the Thai people from Yunnan in the 10th century, the Indochina Peninsula had been a home to various indigenous animistic communities for thousands of years. The recent discovery of Homo erectus fossils such as Lampang Man is an example of archaic hominids. The remains were first discovered during excavations in Lampang Province, Thailand. The finds have been dated from roughly 1 million a euro 500,000 years ago in the Pleistocene. Stone artifacts dating to 40,000 years ago have been recovered from Lam Lod Rock Shelter in Mei Hong Sun, as well as Hobin and artifacts from 18,000 years ago. There are myriad sites in Thailand dating to the Bronze and Iron Ages. The most thoroughly researched of these sites are located in the country's northeast, especially in the Mun and Chi River valleys. The Mun River in particular is home to many moated sites which comprise mounds surrounded by ditches and ramparts. The mounds contain evidence of prehistoric occupation. Around the 1st century AD, according to Funan epigraphy and the records of Chinese historians, a number of trading settlements of the south appear to have been organized into several Malay states, among the earliest of which are believed to be Lankashoka and Tambralinga. Some trading settlements show evidences of Roman trade, a Roman gold coin showing Roman Emperor Antoninus Pius has been found in southern Thailand. Ancient Civilizations Prior to the arrival of the Thai people and culture into what is now Thailand, the region hosted a number of indigenous Mon Khmer and Malay civilizations. Yet little is known about Thailand before the 13th century as the literary and concrete sources are scarce and most of the knowledge about this period is gleaned from archaeological evidence. Similar to other regions in Southeast Asia, Thailand was heavily influenced by the culture and religions of India, starting with the Kingdom of Funan around the 1st century CE to the Khmer Empire. Indian influence on Siamese culture was partly the result of direct contact with Indian settlers but mainly it was brought about indirectly via the Indianized kingdoms of Dvaravati, Srivijaya and Cambodia. E. A. V. O. R. E. T. Z. S. C. H. believes that Buddhism must have been flowing into Siam from India in the time of the Indian Emperor Ashoka of the Maurya Empire and far on into the first millennium after Christ. Later Thailand was influenced by the South Indian Pallava dynasty and North Indian Gupta Empire. Dvaravati 
the Chow Phraya Valley in what is now central Thailand had once been the home of the Mondvaravati culture, which prevailed from the 7th century to the 10th century. The existence of the civilizations had long been forgotten by the Thai when Samuel Beale discovered the polity among the Chinese writings on Southeast Asia as a Euro OE2 low potia Euro. During the early 20th century the archaeologists led by George Karadawas made grand excavations on what is now Nakorn Partham and found it to be a center of Dvaravati culture. The constructed named Dvaravati was confirmed by a Sanskrit plate inscription containing the name Dvaravati. Later on, many more Dvaravati sites were discovered throughout the Chow Phraya Valley. The two most important sites were Nakorn Partham and Uthal. The inscriptions of Dvaravati were in Sanskrit and Mon using the script derived from the Pallava script of the South Indian Pallava dynasty. The religion of Dvaravati is thought to be Theravada through contacts with Sri Lanka, with the ruling class also participating in Hindu rites. The Dvaravati art, including the Buddha sculptures and stupas, showed strong similarities to those of the Gupta dynasty of India. The most prominent production of Dvaravati art are the Vamakakras or the stone wheels signifying Buddhist principles. The eastern parts of the Chow Phraya Valley were subjected to a more Khmer and Hindu influence as the inscriptions are found in Khmer and Sanskrit. Dvaravati was not a kingdom but a network of city-states paying tributes to more powerful ones according to the Mandala model. Dvaravati culture expanded into Isan as well as southwards as far as the Isthmus of Kra. Dvaravati was a part of ancient international trade as Roman artifacts were also found and Dvaravati tributes to the Tang court are recorded. The culture lost power around the 10th century when was submitted by a more unified Levo Khmer polity. See Kotabun, in what is considered as present day Isan, another Indianized kingdom of Si Kotabun rose with the capital of Nakhon Phanom. The territory of Si Kotabun covered mostly northern Isan and central Laos. Southern Thailand, below the Isthmus of Kra was the place of Malay civilizations. Primordial Malay kingdoms are described as tributaries to Funan by 2nd century Chinese sources a Euro though most of them proved to be tribal organizations instead of full-fledged kingdoms. From the 6th century onwards, two major mandalas ruled southern Thailand a Euro the Kandulai and the Lankashika. Kandulai centered on what is now Surat Thani province and Langashika on Patani. Southern Thailand was the center of Hinduism and Mahayana. The Tang dynasty Manga Ching stopped at Lankashoka to study Pali grammar and Mahayana during his journey to India around 800 AD. At that time, the kingdoms of southern Thailand quickly fell under the influences of the Malay kingdom of Srivijaya from Sumatra. Classical era, from about the 10th century to the 14th century, Thailand was known through archaeological findings and a number of local legends. The period saw the Khmer domination over a large portion of Chow Phraya Basin in the Isan. The expansion of Thai people and culture southwards also happened during the Classical era. Harifanje According to the Jamadivi Vamsa, the city of Harifanje was founded by the hermits. Jamadivi, a Levo princess, was invited to rule the city in around 700 AD. However, the date is considered too early for the foundation of Harifanje as Jamadivi brought no Vamakakras to the north. Harifanje may be a later offshoot of the Levo kingdom or instead related to the Thetan kingdom. Harifanje was the center of Theravada in the north. The kingdom flourished during the reign of King Atewang who built the Dachu of Harifanje in 1108. The kingdom had strong relations to another Mon kingdom of Thetan. During the 11th century, Harifanje waged lengthy wars with the Thai Ganyang Kingdom of Chiang Sain. Weakened by Thai invasions, Harifanje eventually fell in 1293 to Manjrai the Great, King of Lana, the successor state of the Ganyang Kingdom. Arrival of the Tay, the most recent and accurate theory about the origin of the Thai people stipulates that Gangxi province in China is really the Thai motherland instead of Yunnan province. A large number of Thai people, known as the Tsuang, still live in Gangxi today. Around 700 AD, Thai people who did not come under Chinese influence settled in what is now Dien Bian Phu in modern Vietnam according to the Khun Borom legend. From there, the Thai began to radiate into northern highlands and founded the cities of Luang Prabang and Chiang Sain. 
The Samhainavati legend tells us that a Thai chief named Samhainavati drove out the native Wa people and founded the city of Chiang Sain around 800 AD. For the first time, the Thai people made contact with the Indianized civilizations of Southeast Asia. Through Harifanje, the Te of Chiang Sain adopted Theravada Buddhism and Sanskrit royal names. The Dachu of Doi Tung, constructed around 850 AD, signified the piety of Thai people on the Theravada religion. Around 900 AD, major wars were fought between Chiang Sain and Harifanje. The Mon forces captured Chiang Sain and its king fled. In 937, Prince Prom the Great took Chiang Sain back from the Mon and inflicted severe defeats on Harifanje. Around 1000 AD, Chiang Sain was destroyed by an earthquake with all the inhabitants killed. A council was established to govern the kingdom for a while, and then a local Wa man known as Livrakaraj was elected the king of the new city of Chiang Sain on Ganyang. The Livrakaraj dynasty would rule over the region for about 500 years. The overpopulation might have encouraged the Tay to seek their fortune further southwards. By 1100 AD, the Thai had established themselves as Po Khans at Nan, Phrae, Songki, Sawang Kalak, Shekhang Grey, etc. on the upper Chao Phraya Valley. These southern Thai princes faced Khmer influence from Levo. Some of them became subordinates to the Levo Khmer polity. Levo. Around the 10th century, the city states of Dvaravati merged into two mandalas a Euro the Levo and the Supanabam. According to a legend in the Northern Chronicles, in 903, a king of Tambralinga invaded and took Levo and installed a Malay prince to the Levo throne. The Malay prince was married to a Khmer princess who had fled an Angkorian dynastic bloodbath. The son of the couple contested for the Khmer throne and became Sayuvarmanai, thus bringing Levo under Khmer domination through personal union. Sayuvarmanai also expanded into the Karat Plateau, constructing many temples. Sayuvarman, however, had no male heirs and again Levo was independent. King Anwatha of Bagan invaded Levo in 1058 and took a Levo princess as his wife. The power of the Levo kingdom reached a zenith in the reign of Narai. Levo faced Burmese invasions under Kianzichtha, whose mother was the Levo princess, in 1080 but was able to repel. After the death of Narai, however, Levo was plunged into bloody civil war and the Khmer under Sayuvarman II took advantage by invading Levo and installing his son as the king of Levo. The repeated but discontinued Khmer domination eventually Khmerized Levo. Levo was transformed from a Theravadic monarch Dvaravati city into a Hindu Khmer one. Levo became the intrapati of Khmer culture and power of the Chao Phraya river basin. The bar relief at Ankhwat showed a Levo army as one of the subordinates to Ankh. However, one interesting note is that a Thai army was shown as a part of Levo army, a century before the establishment of the Sukhothai kingdom. Sukhothai and Lana Thai city-states gradually became independent from the weakened Khmer Empire. It is said that Sukhothai was established as a sovereign, strong kingdom by Phu Khun Indrathit in 1238 AD. A political feature which classic Thai historians call Father Govan's children existed at this time. Everybody could bring their problems to the king directly, as there was a bell in front of the palace for this purpose. The city briefly dominated the area under King Ram Kamhang, who tradition and legend states established the Thai alphabet, but after his death in 1365, Sukhothai fell into decline and became subject to another emerging Thai state the Ayuch Thai kingdom in the lower Chao Phraya area. Another Thai state that coexisted with Sukhothai was the eastern state of Lana, centered in Chiang Mai. King Phi or Manjrai was its founder. The city-state emerged in the same period as Sukhothai. Evidently Lana became closely allied with Sukhothai. After the Ayuch Thai kingdom had emerged and expanded its influence from the Chao Phraya valley, Sukhothai was finally subdued. Fierce battles between Lana and Ayuch Thai also constantly took place and Chiang Mai was eventually subjugated, becoming Ayuch Thai's vassal. Lana's independent history ended in 1558, when it finally fell to the Burmese. Thereafter it was dominated by Burma until the late 18th century. 
local leaders then rose up against the Burmese with the help of the rising Thai kingdom of Thonburi of King Taksin. The northern city-states then became vassals of the lower Thai kingdoms of Thonburi and Bangkok. In the early 20th century they were annexed and became part of modern Siam, the country now called Thailand. Ayachthaya The city of Ayachthaya was located on a small island, encircled by three rivers. Due to its superior location, Ayachthaya quickly became powerful, politically and economically. Ayachthaya had different, various names ranging from Ayotha, derived from Ayodlaw, an Indian holy city, Krung Thep, Franakorn and Veravati. The first ruler of the kingdom of Ayachthaya, King Ramathibadi I, made two important contributions to Thai history the establishment and promotion of Theravada Buddhism as the official religion a Euro to differentiate his kingdom from the neighboring Hindu kingdom of Ankara Euro, and the compilation of the Dharma Shastra, a legal code based on Hindu sources and traditional Thai custom. The Dharma Shastra remained a tool of Thai law until late in the 19th century. In the 417 years of existence, the Ayachthaya kingdom was frequently plagued by internal fighting but this did not prevent its rise as a major power on mainland Southeast Asia. Ayachthaya's culture and traditions became the model for the next period in Thai history, the Bangkok-based Ratanakosin kingdom of the Chakri dynasty. Beginning with the arrival of Portuguese ambassador Dort Fernandes in 1511, Ayachthaya, known to the Europeans as Kingdom of Siam, came into contact with the West during the 16th century. It became one of the most prosperous cities in East Asia. According to George Modelsky, Ayachthaya is estimated to have been the largest city in the world in 1700 CE, with a population of around 1 million. Trade flourished with the Dutch and French among the most active foreigners in the kingdom together with the Chinese and Japanese. The Ayachthaya period is known as Golden Age of Medicine in Thailand due to progress in the field of medicine at that time. In 1563 AD, 15 years after Sarayute died, Prince Bairinong ascended to the throne as the king of Hernshawedi, the heir of the king to Benkawati. He led his army past the Malami border taking over the northern cities on his way to the kingdom of Ayodol. Once King Bairinong had control over Kampanfut, Sukhothe, and Sawankalak, he led his forces to the northern kingdom of Phytisanuluk. King Bairinong defeated Phytisanuluk and took the eldest son of the king of Phytisanuluk, Prince Omdam Prince Ekkathat was Prince Narasuan's younger brother and was trained in the military skills and traditions of Burma. In 1581, King Bairinong died of an illness from his coming of a conflict battle against the kingdom of Yokai. The son of King Bairinong became king afterwards. Some of the northern states revolted against Onsedi including Phytisanuluk, Ayodlaw and Mond gain independence. Ayachthai expanded its sphere of influence over a considerable area, ranging from the Islamic states on the Malay Peninsula, the Andaman ports of present-day Myanmar, the An Kingdom of Cambodia, to states in northern Thailand. In the 18th century, the power of the Ayachthai kingdom gradually declined as fighting between princes and officials plagued its political arena. Outlying principalities became more and more independent, ignoring the capital's orders and decrees. In the 18th century, the last phase of the kingdom arrived. The Burmese, who had taken control of Lana and had also unified their kingdom under the powerful Conborn dynasty, launched several blows against Ayachthai in the 1750s and 1760s. Finally, in 1767, after several months of siege, the Burmese broke through Ayachthai's walls, sacked the city and burned it down. The royal family fled the city and Ayachthaya's last king Ekkathat died of starvation ten days later while in hiding. The Ayachthaya royal line had been extinguished. Overall there had been 33 kings in this period, including an unofficial king. Five dynasties ruled the Ayachthaya kingdom, Yuthong dynasty which consisting of three kings, Sufanaphumi dynasty consisting of 13 kings, Sukhothe dynasty consisting of seven kings, Prasat Thong dynasty consisting of four kings, Banplu dynasty consisting of six kings, Thonburi and Bangkok period. After more than 400 years of power, in 1767, the kingdom of Ayachthaya was brought down by invading Burmese armies, its capital burned, and the territory split. 
General Taksin managed to reunite the Thai kingdom from his new capital of Thonburi and declared himself king in 1769. However, later due to stress and many factors, King Taksin went mad. General Shakri helped run the empire instead. The King Taksin ordained as a monk and ventured into the forest and never to be seen again. General Shakri succeeded him in 1782 as Rama I, the first king of the Shakri dynasty. In the same year he founded the new capital city across the Chao Phraya River in an area known as Ratanakosan Island. In the 1790s, Burma was defeated and driven out of Siam, as it was then called. Lana also became free of Burmese occupation, but was reduced to the kingdom of Kiamai. The king of the new dynasty was installed as a tributary ruler of the Shakri monarch. The heirs of Ramai became increasingly concerned with the threat of European colonialism after British victories in neighboring Burma in 1826. The first Thai recognition of Western power in the region was the Burney Treaty with the United Kingdom in 1826. In 1833, United States diplomatist Edmund Roberts exchanged a treaty with Siam, updated in 1856, 1945 and 1949. Numerous treaties with foreign powers were signed during the reigns of King Mongkut, and his son King Shulilongkorn. Shirley Longhorn retained Belgian attorney Gustave Roland Jaquemins as general advisor to act in a confidential attorney client relationship on reforms to establish firm rapprochement with Western powers. Among his successors were Edward Stbell, the first American advisor in foreign affairs, followed with lesser titles by Jens Westengard, Eldon James, and Francis B. Serre. Stbell, Westengard, James, and Serre were all Harvard law professors. It is a widely held view in Thailand that the diplomatic skills of these monarchs, combined with the modernizing reforms of the Thai government, made Siam the only country in Southeast Asia to avoid European colonization. This is reflected in the country's modern name, Prathet Thai or Thai Euroland, used since 1939, in which Prathet means nation. The Anglo-Siamese Treaty of 1909 defined the modern border between Siam and British Malaya by securing Thai authority over the provinces of Patani, Yala, Narothawat and Satun, which were previously part of the semi-Euro-independent Malay Sultanates of Patani and Kedah. A series of treaties with France fixed the country's current eastern border with Laos and Cambodia, and of absolute monarchy, and military rule. The Siamese Revolution of 1932 was led by a group of young military officers and civil servants. The group held key figures, ministers who were of the royal blood as hostages while the king, Rama VII, was at the summer palace in Hue Hin. The coup, usually called the Revolution of 1932 feet, transformed the government of Thailand from an absolute to a constitutional monarchy. The cabinet was presided over by the prime minister. Military men played a significant role in politics even before 1932. As early as 1912, during the reign of Rama VI, young soldiers who had plotted a coup urging a constitution and a change of the king's status had been arrested. King Rama VII Prajad Hipwak initially accepted this change, granting the constitution but later abdicated from his position due to conflicts with the government. The revolutionary government decided to install his ten year old nephew. Ananda Mayadol as the new monarch. Upon his abdication, King Prajad Hipwak said that the duty of a ruler was to reign for the good of the whole people, not for a selected few. Within a decade Thai politics ran into turmoil as the revolutionary government plunged into factions. Military and civilian figures. Fear of communism, extreme revolutionary ideas and ultranationalism caused sharp fighting among the new ruling elites. Eventually the military faction prevailed. The regime became authoritarian under the Prime Minister Plake Vibun Songkaram, a member of the revolutionary military wing. His regime was also famous for promoting pantheism, the ultra-nationalist policy aiming at unifying Thai, Thai-speaking people nearby into the kingdom. Moreover, in 1941, the Fibun regime decided to ally itself with Japan. The young King Ananda Mayadol died in 1946 under somewhat mysterious circumstances, the official explanation being that he shot himself by accident while cleaning his gun. He was succeeded by his brother Bumai Bol Adjulaj, the longest reigning king of Thailand, and very popular with the Thai people. 
although nominally a constitutional monarchy, Thailand was ruled by a series of military governments, most prominently led by Plaik Vibun Songkhum and Sarit Hanarajata, interspersed with brief periods of democracy. In early January 1941, Thailand invaded French Indochina, beginning the French-Thai War. The Thais, well equipped and slightly outnumbering the French forces, easily reclaimed Laos. The French, outnumbering the Thai Navy force, decisively won the naval battle of Koh Chang. The Japanese mediated the conflict, and a general armistice was declared on January 28. On May 9 a peace treaty was signed in Tokyo, with the French being coerced by the Japanese into relinquishing their hold on the disputed territories. On December 8, 1941, a few hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Japan demanded the right to move troops across Thailand to the Malayan frontier. Japan invaded Thailand and engaged the Thai army for six to eight hours before Phibun Songkhom ordered an armistice. Shortly thereafter Japan was granted free passage, and on December 21, 1941, Thailand and Japan signed a military alliance with a secret protocol wherein Tokyo agreed to help Thailand regain territories lost to the British and French. Subsequently, Thailand undertook to assist Japan in its war against the Allies. Japan's distrust of Thailand extended to the point of rearming their ally with controlled munitions, including the famous Siamese Morza, which was manufactured in an unusual caliber. The Siri Thai was an underground resistance movement against Japan founded by Seni Pramoj, the Thai ambassador in Washington, with the assistance of the United States Office of Strategic Services. Led from within Thailand from the office of the Regent Pride, it operated freely, often with support from members of the royal family such as Prince Chula Chakrabongs, and members of the government. After Japan's defeat in 1945, due to the help of Siri Thai, American support mitigated Allied terms, although the British demanded reparations in the form of rice sent to Malaya, and the French, return of territories lost in the Franco-Thai War. In exchange for supporting Thailand's admission to the United Nations, the Soviet Union demanded repeal of anti-communist legislation. It should also be noted that some former British POWs erected a monument expressing gratitude to the citizens of Abong Ratkathani. In the post-war period, Thailand had close relations with the United States, which it saw as a protector from communist revolutions in neighboring countries. See United States Air Force in Thailand. The communist guerrillas existed in the country from the early 60s up to 1987, counting almost 12,000 full-time fighters at the peak of movement, but never posed a serious threat to the state. Recently, Thailand has been an active member in the Regional Association of Southeast Asian Nations, especially after democratic rule was restored in 1992. Democracy Post-1973 has been marked by a struggle to define the political contours of the state. It was won by the King and General Prem Tin Silananda, who favored a monarchy constitutional order. The post-1973 years have seen a difficult and sometimes bloody transition from military to civilian rule, with several reversals along the way. The revolution of 1973 inaugurated a brief, unstable period of democracy with military rule being reimposed after the 6 October 1976 massacre. For most of the 1980s, Thailand was ruled by Prem Tin Silananda, a democratically inclined strongman who restored parliamentary politics. Thereafter the country remained a democracy apart from a brief period of military rule from 1991 to 1992. The populist Thai Rak Thai Party, led by Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra, came to power in 2001. He was popular with the urban, suburban and rural poor for his populist social programs, his rule came under attack from the elite who saw danger in his parliamentary dictatorship. Also in mid-2005, Sundi Lim Thongkul, a well-known media tycoon, became the foremost Thaksin critic. Eventually Sundi and his allies developed the movement into a mass protest and later unified under the name of People's Alliance for Democracy. On September 19, 2006, after the dissolution of the parliament, Thaksin then became head of a provisional government. While he was in New York for a meeting of the UN, 
Army Commander-in-Chief Lieutenant General Sun Thibunia Rachglin launched the bloodless September 2006 Thailand military coup d'a copyright tat supported by anti-Thaksin elements in civil society and among the Democrat Party. A general election on December 23, 2007 restored a civilian government, led by Samak Sundaravaj of the People's Power Party, as a successor to Thai Rak Thai. In mid-2008, the People's Alliance for Democracy led large protests against the government of Prime Minister Samak Sundaravaj, whom they criticized for his ties to former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra. On August 26, 2008, the protesters illegally occupied several government ministries, including the government house which they sacked, to force the government to give in to demands. Beginning August 29, protesters disrupted air and rail infrastructure, including Siavana Pumi Airport. They have never been prosecuted. The chaos ended in December when three of the parties that formed the government were dissolved by the Constitutional Court for election fraud. After this decision, many previous coalition partners of the government then defected and joined the main opposition party, the Democrat Party, and refusing elections to immediately form a new government in the favor of the old guard elites. On July 3, 2011, Opposition Few Thai Party won general elections in a landslide, but have since been disposed by coup d'a copyright tat amid rumors of corruption, vote rigging and buying arms for militia. See also History of Asia, History of Southeast Asia, History of Isan, List of Kings of Thailand, List of Prime Ministers of Thailand, Peopling of Thailand, Politics of Thailand, Thai Studies, Notes. Further reading, Jean-Baptiste Paul Goix. Description du Royaume Thai U Siam. Volume 2 of Description du Royaume Thai U Siam, Component La Topography, Histoire Naturelle, Moyes et Cochums, Legislation, Commerce, Industry, Lang, Little Copyright Ratcha, Religion, Annals des Thai et Pra Copyright Sci Historique de la Mission avec Cartes et Graviers, Jean Baptiste Paul Goix. Au Prophet de la Mission de Siam. PA 637. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, Gustav Schlegel. Siamese Studies. Oriental Printing Office, formerly E.J. Brill. PA 128. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, Siamese Studies. Brill Archive. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, Walter Armstrong Graham. Siam, a handbook of practical, commercial, and political information. F.G. Brown. PA 637. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, Sir John Bowring. The Kingdom and People of Siam, with a narrative of the mission to that country in 1855, Volume 1. J. W. Parker. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, N. A. MacDonald. Siam, Its Government, Manners, Customs, and C. A. Martian. PA 213. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, Peter Anthony Thompson. Siam, An Account of the Country and the People. J. B. Millett. PA 330. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, Mary Lovina Court. Siam, or, The Heart of Father India. A. D. F. Randolph and Company PA 399. Retrieved July 1, 2011 a, George Bagden Bacon. Siam, the Land of the White Elephant, as it was and is. Scribner, Armstrong. PA 347. Retrieved July 1, 2011. A, Smith, Samuel John, Ed. The Siam Repository, containing a summary of Asiatic intelligence, Volume 3. Printed at S. J. Smith's office. Retrieved April 24, 2014. A, 20th Century Impressions of Siam. Its history, people, commerce, industries and resources, with which is incorporated an abridged edition of 20th Century Impressions of British Malaya. Editor-in-Chief, Arnold Wright. Assistant Editor, Oliver T. Breakspeare. Published by Lloyd's Greater Britain Publishing Company. London. Library of Congress Classification, DS 565W7. Survey and Map Making in Siam. Open Library. Thailand Country Study for the Library of Congress, 1987. Barbara Leitch Lapu, Editor. 
This text comes from the Country Studies Program, formerly the Army Area Handbook Program. The Country Studies series presents a description and analysis of the historical setting and the social, economic, political, and national security systems and institutions of countries throughout the world. References Thongcha Winishnikal Siam Mapped University of Hawaii Press, 1984 ISBN 0-8248-1974-8, Wyatt, David. Thailand, A Short History. Yale University Press, 2003 ISBN 0-300-08475-7